Hey guys, Monster Cameron here, and today I'm doing a walking vlog. I'm using a Dragon uh, Steady Cam, so it looks a little bit smoother than me doing it handheld, so you can see. Very smooth. Um, it's a little bit unbalanced. It's very hard to control uh, steady cams. So, um, yeah, another day, not another dollar. And uh, I won't even finish the rest. You can uh, figure it out. And that's rough. Awkward silence. I don't have much to speak about, really. Um, tech news, um, there is um, IDF, that's Intel Developer Conference, uh, or Forum, maybe, Intel Developer Forum. Um, that's going on right now. You probably can get clips. Uh, Newgadgets.de, uh, Mobile Geeks, Netbook News, all those, uh, you know, netbook sites laptop sites and they're talking about uh, you know ultra gestures and next generation of ultra books next generation of Intel CPUs which is awesome <laughs> um, there's a new Haswell that's the architecture behind uh, Ivy bridge that's the next uh, big thing for Intel and it's uh, this is gonna be a tick on their TikTok uh, nomenclature if I'm not mistaken uh, this one is going to get a brand new, well, it's going to be a little bit reworked. You're going to get the new uh, graphics uh, GMA stuff. And it's going to be uh, 22, it's going to be either 22 or the 14 nanometer. I'm not sure which one it is. Uh, 14 might be for the talk uh, release in 2014. Um, but yeah, Intel, they're working on it. Um, much lower power uh, consumption right now, current... Uh, Gen Ivy Bridge uh, ULV CPUs. They hit about uh, 17 watts TDP, which is average for ultra low voltage CPUs. But the next generation Haswell chips will hit 10 watts. Uh, so you know what that means. Smaller form factor uh, laptops and netbooks with um, longer battery lives. So we can expect to start seeing eight hour battery lives uh, within the next uh, couple of months maybe a year or two you know um, the technology is going it's advancing rapidly but uh, the problem is on the processor side and the component side but batteries have been pretty much stale for a couple of years so um, we'll see what happens you know it's always interesting um, I don't know what else um, not a lot of news right now um, Oh yeah, I put up a, I was watching a video and I put a link on Reddit. It's uh, this guy, he has his, yeah, he's made a, a path tracing uh, engine. So path tracing is like ray tracing. It's pretty much just like how your, your eyes see it. It traces uh, single beams of light from a light source to, you know, the, the geometry in the world. And it calculates the brightness and so forth. Um, much more uh, processor intensive. So that's why it's not really been used except for uh, non-real-time uh, sort of uh, situations like uh, uh, anything that CG is, uh, is ray trace and path tracing is like um, a dirtier quicker version of ray tracing um, so I had a link on that I'll put a link in the video but it looks amazing and he's got it hooked up to so he has it running in real time and it's hooked up to uh, a physics simulation with, with a car so that's pretty cool maybe we'll put out a demo soon although <laughs> I won't expect it to run on anything short of a GTX uh, 690 uh, those things are beasts but uh, that's all the news this week so it's raining it's raining it's a little foggy I'm trying to take advantage of this Steady cam. It's all on the wrist. Grabbing focus. Side. Do it on the 
I'm stuck inside There's nothing better to do I'm going down the stairs, going up the stairs, going down the sideways stairs.